you can see the Silverado lug nut torque is set at 103.5 so I'm going to apply the pressure and you'll see once it gets close it'll start beeping you give me a green light once you go over it buzzes vibrates and gives you that red light there I'll do it again Everybody, I wanted to talk about this digital torque wrench Vivor sent me to test out and review. I want to show you a couple of things. First, you probably saw that video of how it tracks the torque level and vibrates and beeps. I wanted to show you that first. I also want to show you how it looks coming out of the box. And the most important thing, the instructions might be a little confusing, so how to use it straight out of the box right away so you're ready to go if you want to torque down your lug nuts or whatever you need to torque. It comes in a nice black case like this. You have your instructions and your warranty service card. These instructions are a little difficult to understand. Torque wrench sits in there like that. This is a half inch drive with an easy release button. You have your tightening and loosening here. Also comes with adapters for a 3 8 inch drive and your quarter inch drive. They snap nicely into place there. Again, you have your quick release button so you can put that in if you need the adapter piece. The main thing I wanted to show you is how to get it up and running so you can use it right away. So here's the power button on P. So I'm going to click that. So you see it has a nice backlit display. So to get it up and running, um, but actually before that, I want to show you the settings. So it has these modes you can save. And for example, S1 is the foot per pounds for my Civic lug nuts. I have that saved. You go up to S2. You'll see 76 foot pounds for our Camry lug nuts, and then 94 foot pounds for the Odyssey lug nuts, and 103 and a half foot pounds for the Silverado lug nuts. So you can save this information right away. But if you wanted to change the torque level, all you need to do is press up. And I'm going to a new setting, so I'll go to S5. Then I'm going to hit M here. Now I can change the torque level to whatever I want. So say I want to go to 50 pounds, 50, 50 foot pounds. I'm just going to hold that down until I get up to 50. So I'm holding up the, holding down the up arrow, and I'm at 50 right there. So then you can press P or M to lock that in. Okay, I have that at 50 foot pounds. You can change the units here. So if I want to it also has newton meters, so 50 foot pounds equals 67.8 newton meters. You also have kilogram meters, and you also have inch pounds. But with my torque readings, I use foot pounds, which is right there, so 50 foot pounds. So then you can use that. If you want to set another one, you can hit M here until the S is blinking. So you have S5. I'm going to go up to S6 and set a new one. So say I want to set this to... We'll say 60 foot pounds. I'm on foot pounds there, so I'm just going to press M again until this is blinking on the right side. And now I can adjust the torque level. So I'm going to hold that button down until I get up to 60. So then you can fine tune it until you get up to 60. So I'm at 60. I can save that into memory by hitting M. If I don't want to save it, I can just hit P, and we're set and good to go. So that's how you use it right away if you want to just take it out of the box and start using. I hope that's helpful there. You can also set uh, this here, the T for track mode or peak mode. So P is peak mode. You hit the E button here to switch between track mode and peak mode. The lowest is uh, 12 and a half foot pounds. So say I'm going to say that 12 and a half foot pounds, hit M, and then I'm ready to go. And again, 12 and a half foot pounds, if I adjust the units, 12 and a half foot pounds equals 16.9 Newton meters, 1.7 kilogram meters, 150 foot inches, and 12 and a half foot pounds. Sorry, this one up here is 14.6 inch pounds. So that's about it. And then again, the digital torque wrench gives you that vibration feeling and the beeping, the audio signal, when you get close to your torque level. So that's the nice thing about these dig digital torque wrenches. A lot of you might be 
used to these manual click wrenches, which are nice as well. Um, but the way you, you adjust that is you loosen that and you have to dial in your torque level here. Um, so some people prefer that and you get the manual click feeling. This digital torque wrench, it gives you that vibration. It gives you an actual reading the whole time you're torquing. So when you start torquing out, it'll go from 12 and a half all the way to 20. If I'm torquing out my Civic lug nuts at 80 foot pounds, it's going to give you that reading all the way from 12 and a half to 80. Once it gets to 80, it's going to start beeping. And once, once I hit 80, it's going to turn, the light's going to turn red and then start vibrating. So you can see that example on the Silverado lug nuts where it was at 103 and a half foot pounds. Once I got close to 103 and a half foot pounds, you get the green light and the beeping, and then it starts buzzing. So you feel that vibration, you see the light, so then you know you hit your torque level. So I hope that was helpful in showing you how to use this Vivor torque wrench. I was able to test it out on our lug nuts, on the, car, on the cars and trucks that we have. You can also use it for lighter settings other than lug nuts if you have something within 12 and a half foot pounds all the way up to 250 foot pounds you can use this especially with the adapters for light boost uh light duty use so i hope this video is helpful again instructions might be a little tricky to read so i hope that little tutorial was helpful for you um i do like this thanks to viva for sending it to me and i hope this video is helpful thanks for watching